Keshav Maharaj and Vernon Philander fended every Indian attack and yet South Africa ended the day's play in as much trouble if not more. But day three was all about fight. Three down from overnight, Theonis De Bruyne and night watchman Andrik Nokia resumed South Africa's innings on the morning of day three. A new ball and a fresh Indian pace attack meant that an attack was imminent. And it came. Mohamed Shami removed Andrik Nokia as Omesh Yadav dismissed Theonis De Bruyne. 53 for five, South Africa seemed in trouble. And out came their two most trusted batsmen, Quinton de Kock and Faf Du Plessis, as the two put together 75 runs for the sixth wicket before a beauty from Ashwin nicked the stumps of Quinton de Kock and he was gone. Senuram Muthuswamy got out to a freak LBW dismissal without offering a shot. With the impact outside off stump, he was gone too, 139 for seven and the game was slipping away from South Africa. A valiant half century from Faf Du Plessis couldn't really save it because he was dismissed too. At 162 for 8, it was all but done for South Africa. Out came two batsmen for South Africa, Vernon Philander and Keshav Maharaj. Philander, remember, was on a pair from the last game and the two joined forces together to put together a record ninth wicket partnership for South Africa. In the process of which, India threw everything at them. They threw pace, spin, part-time, but these two kept fending off every attack. They kept showing India the tal, but they did not throw it in until the fag end of the day, where Ashwin came back to first remove Maharaj and then Rabada, with India ending the day with a lead of 326 runs. With a colossal lead under their belt and a decision to make on the follow-on, India have all the aces in their hands. Some days of test cricket are about big numbers, but this one was all about South Africa's fight.